absolute best friend. To stand here and tell you that I love you more than anything in the world would be an understatement. Until I met you, I didn't truly understand how powerful love can be. Now I can say that I understand and I love you more than life itself. I do love you more than life itself, and because I love you this way, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. And because I want to spend the rest of my life with you, I want to make you some very important promises. I promise to smile and laugh with you. I promise to always take care of myself and always to take care of you. I promise to notice all the encouraging words and the little things you do for me. I promise to always be there to listen and to listen intently. I promise to always have your back as we are a team. I promise to comfort and encourage you. I promise to always be there through all the great times and the bad ones. I promise to be a remarkable father and to get up at night when our babies are crying. I promise to be kind, honest, and always faithful. I promise to protect and provide for you and our family. I promise to cherish every moment we have together. Above all else, I promise to love you forever and then this life and into the next. Oh my god. You are beautiful. <laughs> oh man. Dad, I love you so much. Thank you for walking me on my most important walk of my life. I will never forget this day. You know I won't. <laughs> Alex, the trust that we have built, that we have worked so hard to protect, is invaluable. I feel so incredibly lucky. I only wish that every person on this planet could experience the love you give me every day. I also wish time could slow down so these moments didn't happen so fast. You more than anyone else know my insecurities and my weaknesses and still never make me feel inadequate. You praise me in a way I did not think was possible. I never thought I would be able to love someone as much as I do you. I promise to not only love who you are now, but who you grow into over the years. I promise to love you without condition, to laugh when you're happy and to cry when you're sad. I promise to always fight with you and for you, never against you. I vow to never take ourselves too seriously and stay just immature enough for macaroni and cheese for dinner. I promise I will never keep score even though I'm totally winning because everything is a competition between us. With that said, you will never beat me at Battleship. I don't know if this counts, but I promise to try to evenly distribute my cuddling time between you and our fur babies. I know you get jealous. I also will make a huge effort to greet you in the same excited tone that I greet Benson with when I get home. I promise to always respect you, to be faithful to you, and to always put you above all others. I vow to have the patience that loves and demands. I promise to release my end of the rope when we are in a tug of war, knowing that there is a cost to my winnings if it means that you lose. I promise to take care of you, even when you have the man cold and I promise to not spend all of our money on decorations. I promise to always dream your dreams with you and to try to make them realities. I promise to walk with you hand in hand throughout this life as your biggest fan. I see these vows not as promises, but as privileges. I get to laugh with you, cry with you, care for you, and share this life. I get to build a life and a family with you. Alex, I am totally, insanely, ridiculously, completely, passionately in love with you. You are the one. You are my soulmate. You are simply it. I love you with every inch of my heart, and I could not be more grateful and honored to stand up here today and be your wife. No one has ever put me first like you. You and I are so close. Through that closeness, I have been fallen in love with all the little things that make you, you. I love that you would rather spend a night in playing poker with me over going out to dinner. I love that you destroy me at Battleship for 15 games running. I love that voice you used to Benny in Kingston. I love that you get excited when I don't have to go to the gym in the morning. I love that you eat all the cookie dough out of the ice cream and then give it to me to finish. I love that you don't like shows unless I find the perfect documentary and trust me, I search for them. I love that you get worried that I'm going to give our kids more attention than I give you. I love it that you laugh more than I do when you tickle me. 
I love how you jump on my back when I'm laying down, latch on, and tell me to stand up. I love that you have a decoration and an outfit for every season and every holiday. Carly, there is so much of you to fall in love with. Those are all the little things, and there will be many more to add over the years. But these are the big things I fell in love with first, the things that will always be there in you and that I will always love. From the first day I met you, I fell in love with your mind, the way you think. That first weekend we spent together talking, that is when I discovered how intelligent and full of wonder you are. You are constantly seeking to understand and to be challenged. I love your soul. You, all, you always seek positivity in life and in turn have taught me how to seek it in mine. You are playful, have strength of will, and above all else, you are kind. Your support is unwavering. You have always made me feel as if I am the only one for you. I am so very confident in you. I am confident that you will handle all life's struggles that will come your way. I know that you will be there when life's struggles come mine and you'll be fit there for me and all the pleasures in life as well. Every day, I look forward when we have a family because I know you'll be an awesome mother. The way you talk about all the care and love you will give our children makes our future all that more exciting. Alex, you are the strength that I have always needed and the joy that I didn't know I lacked. I want so badly to be able to explain all the love I have for you. Not the feelings of butterflies or stomach knots, but more the entanglement with another soul. Love is a word that is used far too often, and it can never describe the infinite passion that I have in my heart. There is not a word in the human language that would ever describe the love I have for you. I love how kind you are to me. You are the kindest person I have ever met. There isn't a single day that goes by that you don't treat me as if I am the only girl in the world. You treat me with the utmost respect every second. I love that you stare at me every time it's a red light and I have to yell at you that it's green. I love that you know when I'm hungry just by the sound of my voice. I love that you smother me in kisses before you leave for work even though I always tell you to stop. I love that you are such a hard worker. I'm going to work every day then to come home and work hours on end to remodel our house. You never complain, always asking what the next task is. That is a quality I've always desired in a man because that is how my papa has always been. I love that you always push my hair back when it's in my face. I love that you constantly challenge me and push me to do my best. I love that you dance just to make me laugh. Alex, I honestly do not know how I got so lucky. I've never been more adored or felt more safe. Like I've told you so many times, one lifetime just isn't enough with you. The father's greatest wish for his daughter is her complete happiness. It is not the one thing that money can buy. You cannot build it, you cannot create it. A dad, as much as he wants to, can't make that happen. There is only one person on earth that can make complete happiness happen, and that is her soulmate, provided by God. Alex, you are her soulmate. I know you will continue to give her complete happiness. When I see that look in her face, right there, I never saw that until she met you. Of all the amazing qualities you possess that I appreciate the most is your ability to make her smile. We are honored to call you son. To love, laughter, and grow happily ever after. May your marriage be filled with love, peace, happiness, and God's blessings. As a little, little girl, I grew up being taught how powerful a prayer is. My mom tucked me into bed at night and we prayed every single night before I fell asleep. I always remember her telling me that the Lord will always answer your prayers, but in his own timing. 
As a little girl, I remember praying to my future husband. I remember laying in bed and praying that wherever my soulmate was, that he was happy and he was okay. I prayed for a man that was loving, kind, sweet, sensitive, and adored me like no other. Three weeks into our relationship, we were driving in your truck and I looked at you and I said, you. It was you that I had been praying to all along. All these nights of wonder, it was all for you. Every single thing that I prayed for since I was a little girl, and a partner, and a best friend, and a husband, and a father to our unborn children you possess. There isn't a single quality that I need that you lack. Alex, I love you.